Let's have a look at how to update your static website. Before we are doing that, we have to switch to a deployment option that actually supports updating. So go to deploy, switch to local directory. And what I've done in preparation is I manually created a folder called static on the root directory of my website. Save the settings and you're ready to go. Switch to activity log, switch to export and run your first export. What happens behind the scenes is that we keep timestamps alongside a content hash inside a database table. On the next update, we compare all the changes happening on your static website with the newly exported website and we only transfer the changes. What is needed is a start export so we can later reference these files. As you can see, all files got transferred to the local file system. So now we switch to update and click generate static files again. Okay, the update was done. No new pages or files needed to be transferred because we haven't changed anything. What we're doing now is we force a change. Let's go to pages, sample page, and add a bit of content here. Save the settings, go back to Simply static generate, switch to update, and click the generate static files button again. As you can see, the update was successful, and two files. Uh, were updated on your static websites. Why two files? Well, that's because each page also has an RSS file attached to it, which also needs to be updated to have the latest version of your content in your RSS feed. That's the easiest way to update your static website. In the following tutorials, we will also cover single exports and build exports, which offer other ways to run static exports for various scenarios. But using the update mechanism built into Simply Static Pro is the easiest and most straightforward way to update your static website.